Hi, welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie. Today we have a mixed media organization idea that I know you're just going to love. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check the gear so that you get notified of upcoming organizational and tutorial videos. Do you have a lot of gel prints that look like this? Little bits and pieces? Want to know how I organize mine? Here's what it looks like after the fact. And here it's all ready to go out on a create date. Be sure to check the description box below for links to these organizational supplies and other tools as well. Hi everybody, Creative Katie here, Karen Birchill. And what we're looking at right now is the last art journal page that I did. And I'll put a link to that video. But in that video, I used up all my little pieces of gel prints, jelly prints, prints and colored papers to create the background. I don't know if you can tell, but the entire background was created with that. Now this is something that I've wanted to do more of. I wanted to use my gel prints and, and colored papers with leftover paint to collage with in various ways. And that meant having a system to organize my gel prints. Hi everybody, Creative Katie, Karen Virtual here. And today we are going to do an organizational tip. What we're looking at right here is the last art journal page that I did. And I'll put a link to that video. But the entire background was created by using jelly prints um, little bits of jelly prints and colored paper that I've had in my stash. And it gives this wonderful textured thing. Now, if you've watched some of my other organizational build videos, I have a system for organizing my gel prints. It's, it's called my Big Blue Box filing system. And I have pictures and cutouts and quotes and everything in there and I have that. Now it's in a filing cabinet. At one time it was in a big plastic box that you can buy uh, from Staples. Now in these hanging files that fit in the blue box and now in my filing cabinet, I, it works really well to have these big sheets. But what happens when you have all these little bits like when you've used them and you have these little bits or you've used part of the sheet on a collage sheet, you end up with all these little bits of papers. I find keeping them in here really didn't work. I could never really access them when I wanted to. And I hemmed and hawed about the idea of keeping them. And for the longest time, I threw these out until recently. So I had a whole stack of these because I used a whole bunch of these to, a whole bunch of my gel prints to cut out circles from the gel prints. And I ended up with lots of places, pieces like this. And I just kept throwing them in a Rubbermaid tote and then Rubbermaid tote. The other day I sat down and I organized it into colors. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to store that so that when I do a project like I did this one or other collage work, which I want to do more of, I will be able to access all these small little pieces of gel prints and use them in my art. So after I sorted out my gel prints, I just filed them all the little pieces, and you can see the variety of pieces. I've got my purples, I've got pinks, and I'm just filing them what looks to be the best possible fit. And I've just, you know, I painted a, a tab on these file folders that I'm recycling from another job. And a good idea for that is go to an office and ask if they're getting rid of some filing. So I'm just going to file 
these little bits that have kind of escaped. And as you can see, some of these are really tiny little bits. I'm putting them in this file folder and the sides aren't sealed, nor do I want them to be. So then what I'm going to do is take this and put it in a hanging file system. And I'm going to take the camera off and show you. So this is the hanging file and it is hanging on the door in my studio. So just so you get the lay of the land, there's the desk and my paints and a terribly messy. Um, there's where I store my big gel prints and bigger papers and magazine papers and the like so it's nice and handy. But let's get back to this. Now I will put a link to something similar to this that I find at Amazon in the description box but this is a Pendaflex filing system and it has these nicely color coded file folder like things. Now the sides are sealed. They're, they don't open. So they're like a pouch which is perfect for this. So what I'm going to do or what I need to do and I'm sorry about that is that I'm going to take these file folders that have my gel prints and put them into here. Now they cannot get out. They are totally in case. So I'm going to file the rest of these and then I will come back and show you the next step. So there is the filing system completely filled with the files and my gel prints. So I can come here and if I have this color, I can simply add it to the file without taking anything off. And it's hanging here, it's out of the way, um, it doesn't you know, take up any space. Now the benefit of this is if I wanted to go on a create date and I wanted to do some collage work with my gel prints, what I need, need I can simply unhook this So here's the filing system and it folds up just like that. Now it comes, this one comes with a kind of a case that you can simply put in and close up and then carry very easily to your create date. So Pendafex file for if you've been working in a small space, if you're just starting out. Now I'm using this for my small little bits of jelly, pr jelly prints, the little tiny bits, but you can use this for your full-size gel prints, for anything that you want to store. You can put your pictures that you're going to collage with, that you're going to art journal with, whatever you want. and. The joy of this is it takes up very, very little space. It's completely mobile. It can be moved from room to room. It can come to your table when you need it. And when you don't, it hangs out of the way, kind of behind a door where nobody needs to bother with it. So I hope you use this idea. If you think this is a great idea, leave a comment below. Check out the links for these storage ideas and other storage ideas as well as other videos in my craft hack or organization studio organization playlist there's lots there some of the stuff i still use some some has evolved over time as i get more stuff and as i change the way that i create um, but i can see this as working for a long time so i hope you give it a try bye for now